Hi, welcome back to Educate WordPress where we talk everything and all about WordPress. I'm Aisha and in this video I'm going to tell you how you can automatically generate SKU and add and display those SKUs on the product page. So when you have when you're having a product to sell in your website and uh, maybe sometimes you will sell on another platform or a different uh, marketplace as well so when you're getting those orders you need to know which product has got the order and in which site so for that uh, if uh, if your product has a different variation uh, as in color or size or any custom uh, custom doings so you need to know when you get an order in in their invoice uh, like from where this order has come not from but to which product uh, this order has come so we use certain uh, product ids or keywords that uh, for this for knowing this thing which is called stock keeping unit so basically stock keeping unit is a key to searching and identifying stock on hand from list invoice and order from so this uh, basically uh, lets you to understand that which product is selling on which uh, which uh, thing and which platform or anything and how much stock is left and all those things you can add in a certain code so in this video i'm going to show you how you can generate those instead of having uh, writing each code for each uh, product so uh, before we get into the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel as we come up with videos on woocommerce and wordpress to get your website experience on top so now i'm going to take a product uh, which is basically a v-neck t-shirt in the color red but uh, if, if you have variations in this like a red uh, green color or uh, uh, let's say there's a size you don't know for which or which if they place an order which variation uh, they might have purchased so for, to know that we are uh, placing this code over here uh, to identify that product so you get that code exactly that code in your invoice so let's go to the dashboard and we had already done a video on uh, the inventory and stock control uh, where we uh, talked about uh, the where we talked about uh, SKUs and inventory control options. So right now I'm going to uh, brief a little bit. So here, uh, see, there's a SKU option here, but it's all nil for this because uh, in this I have given this SKU as BRS, which is basically. Uh, let me edit when you click on to the edit and go to inventory you can see that uh, uh, sku so now sku is uh, i have given the uh, letter b for the beanie and r for the red color and s for a small size so that's the sku i have given you can choose whatever naming uh, technique you want if the, if there is a brand product then you can add brand name then the product name then uh, the size and all those things so uh, this is now uh, updated when i when i update this here and uh, let's view the product Okay, let's go to the product. You can see that there is an SKU code over here, but it's a task when it's, uh, when uh, it gets to selecting all those, uh, like for everyone we are giving this code and any everything. So for that, we are going to install a plugin. Uh, let's go to the plugin and add new. And the plugin is called WooCommerce SKU Generator. So I'm going to uh, search for SKU. Alright, so the plugin we are going to use is the WooCommerce product SKU generator. So this is the plugin we are going to use. This is the uh, most uh, active one and uh, the most rated one. So uh, I'm going to install this and I'm going to show you how you can uh, add the uh, SKU option uh, on every product. So once installed and activated, uh, we can, we'll be uh, able to see uh, a setting on the WooCommerce setting page for the SKU option. So let's go over there. Okay, it's installed and let's activate this. Once activated, uh, now let's go to the Woo WooCommerce option and uh, settings. Yes. So right now, when you go to products, uh, you can see that there is product XKU option uh, below the measurement. 
so here what we have to do is we uh, this is a uh, this is to generate the sku so how do we want to generate that sku we have three options which is never like if you if you don't want to you can just click on the uh, never and then there is product slug then there is product id if you don't have a product id uh, you uh, you can choose product id if you have one or you can just uh, uh, go for the name it's basically the name okay then the variation like how you want to uh, name the variation like if you have red blue as i said you can uh, also choose that with uh, if there is a variation id you can use that if you don't have you can just go for the default names then there is a replace space uh, with attribute attribute so basically the spaces uh, when you have this uh, beanie red and those those are the keywords right so if you want to uh, remove that space you can uh, choose a uh, an option which the default is uh, space with dashes and hyphens so that's what we basically use and just click on to save changes all right so that's done now let's go back to the uh, products page and uh, we saw how you can do this skus uh, personally like a uh, single one so now let's go to, let's apply for all of this right so uh, what what you can do is for simple one uh, exactly one product you just have to go to edit and just have to update this all right so when you update uh, and view the product you can see that sku is built all right sku is built but it's a task when it comes to uh, applying for uh, mini products so that's why we're going to uh, go we're going to go back and uh, let's do this simple hack to apply for all the products so i'm going to click on to the bulk action uh, this uh, select all button then i'm going to choose the bulk action as edit okay and apply so once apply you can see the list of products and all those things uh, over here so i'm going to just go to here and update all right okay so since there is no uh, sku so over here when you what happens when you update is all the product has now an uh, a sku so that's how uh, you can add sku and generate sku and add it to your product and it will be visible on your product page as well to make your business more easy and comfortable so that's it that's all about today's video if you like this video give a big fat thumbs up and we'll see you in another video bye